And this is very important. You know, I work at a I work at the college and uh, these government people. You know, remember I made that video about that free to lay rap thing that they that scam somebody was running where they send you a check and then they tell you to go buy or to go pay for your car to get wrapped with a advertisement, uh, uh, like advertising they put on your vehicle and they put a, they've tried to play games to get into my account from the job where I work at, at B of A. So B of A is obviously working. I don't, I don't know if they're working with these people or what, but, B of A, you know, my paycheck from when I'm working at the college, they put it on hold. So what was, remember that, look it up on the internet. If you look up free to lay scam or advertising scam of these, I don't know if they're government people that are doing that free to lay scam or something where they say they send people a check and they tell them to go to some, uh, car detailing place that puts an advertisement on their car. You ever seen those vehicles? They have like, looks like they have like fancy paint jobs on them or whatever. And it's really a car wrap that they glue on to a vehicle. Well, that was on 11, 28, 2023. When they had sent me that check, I even called the guy. He said he worked at Frito Lay. He said he's one of the, he, uh, managers or somebody at free to lay and they've been tampering with my account i guess those people who make that free to lay scam if you look at it's big it was a big scam in indiana or something i guess i don't know if it was nationwide or what but there i don't know if there's a politician involved in that or not but in reference to uh them tampering with my paycheck from the university or the college that i work at it's a crime. Somebody has to get sued for messing with my account. They need to do a background check on their man or whoever the people are. They even had it on the news. I think there was a somewhere up in Lafayette, Indiana, too. Somebody had done this on one of the videos. But it's, it's kind of like a Frito-Lay scam where they try to get into your account numbers or something. And... You know, the security exchange company or the office or organization or the treasury should have been doing something to stop these people from getting into people's accounts where they're blocking and putting illegal holds on people's checks from their jobs or any deposits that people put in their bank accounts. Doesn't make no sense. It says it's delayed possibly until uh, 3.06 at 9 a.m. or something. It doesn't make no sense. But, you know, today is the first or something. So it's like five days these people have put a hold on my paycheck from a job at the university where I'm working at the company that I work for and they have to track down to see if any political people was involved or if they were involved in tampering with my life or tampering with obviously money or if them tampering with uh, my mother or father's accounts or estates or properties or businesses or anything no matter what, they have to track down the exact person that's doing it, whoever somebody is, the, the bank security people or the people that work in security or fraud in the banking industry have to track down whoever these free to lay people were that was calling me and uh, sending me information or text messaging me this free to lay rap uh, scam they had going on, whoever these people are. You know, they they try to initiate a victimizing situation. Like, they'll send you something in the mail or text message you, and then you'll be like, what's this? Oh, wow, this is kind of interesting. What's this? Blah, blah, blah. Then you'll like, oh, okay. And then you'll text them back. or And then they, they try to play some free-to-lay rap scam. 
where they try to get you to advertise a product from free to lay and it's a scam. And then they try to get into your bank account to mess up your accounts. And then they try to do these things. It's some type of, obviously it's high tech crimes too. So it's not just some little person just making uh, these $3,000 fake checks with free to lay. So it's, it's, the scam's obviously been going on a while. So it's totally illegal what these people are doing with their free to lay scam. And free to lay is a copywritten name and company. So if free to lay was involved in that, that's pretty serious and people need to get prosecuted. That's just the point of information about business scams and tricks. You might call their activity of a white collar crime or whatever, but there's obviously a need to prosecute whoever tries to get into people's bank accounts to tamper with their deposits or their expenditures or whatever anything is in reference to banking activities. Alexa, what time is it? 10.03 a.m. Alexa, what's the date? Alexa, what's the date? Today is Friday, March 1st. March 1st, 2024.